Hi guys, Mrs. Elbitz here and welcome back to my channel. Let's begin. Vision for Spruirian. Spruirian is the Afrikaans word for the fine mist you get when you bend the orange peel or nachi peel between your fingers, like the video is showing. That, um, that releases a fragrance, and that fragrance reminds the poet of a girlfriend that he had when he was in KwaZulu-Natal. It also reminds um, us that many fragrances remind us of family. He's got a grandmother who um, he is reminded of through the smell of kaneel, which is cinnamon, um, and there's somebody else that he thinks of when he smells any seed. This poem has a very happy mood uh, because it, it calls up good memories for the poet. Um, it's a memories of females who brought something to his life. Um, it, you know, it, it enriched his life. Um, so this poem, in essence, also tells us that he is bringing ode to women in his life. The tone of this poem, very positive. It's good memories that he, have, um, that he has of these people. And then your build of your poem, it's almost again like a song. You've got the first and the last stanza, which um, is basically a chorus because it repeats. There's one word that changes in um, the second time you see the chorus. Um, the outer build of your poem, you've got three stanzas, two of which has been repeated. So technically, you've got one big stanza um, in the middle. Your second stanza is the one that's got seven lines, and that's where your story lies. Um, so in your inner, inner build of your poem, you'll see that the first and the last one talks about how he admires women, he gives praise to women in his life, and the middle part tells you all about the girlfriend he had um, in KwaZulu-Natal. The topography of your poem here has to do with inkyeping. You'll see that stanza one and stanza three has inkyeping, which means it's almost like the tab has been pressed to make the words move a little bit inwards, and it shows us that that is a chorus. You've got free verse in this poem. Um, in certain times, you've got invashi, where it forces words towards the end um, to emphasize them, to make them stand out. Your theme of this poem is to celebrate woman. It has a very positive association with smells and women. Your message, people, and we all do it, we associate um, certain people in our lives with certain smells, um, especially women's fragrances. Um, I know that I have lots of fond memories of certain foods that's been cooked in our house, and it, might, it reminds you of the people around you, the people that you love. There you go. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember, if you've got any questions, you can follow me on Instagram at Afrikaans Classroom. Please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Like and share.